Hello everybody, this is Frankie Dave of Frankie Dave Models. For this beautiful Monday day today, stay my day off. It's my little bill for I got pictures that uploaded too, so I got them coming on the way after we uh, discussed the first part of the video. Okay. This thing wasn't easy. The construction of this thing goes together very, very well. There's no hair pulling. No Downing Thomases or anything like that in the construction. The only thing you really got to watch out for is those two 1700 horsepower, two 1700 horsepower right cyclone engines of B25 Incorporated. The old Bendix carburetor system. No, this has a Holly carburetors. Anyway, uh, the engines are, uh, they're, they're about congested as a, as a heart attack. You really got to follow the structures very, uh, very, very closely and get a good feel of the engine. Because once you get it, because like I say, you got your manifolds, your baffles, your cylinder heads. If they, if they protrude any higher, that cowling will not slip on there. It's the same thing like that on the, on the Timia Corsair. It's only made to be built only one way, the right way. The wrong way, it'll, it'll cause, ugh. You'll be fighting it, and you'll just shelve the model, and uh, eventually they'll turn in a full money suit party. You wouldn't want to build it; you'd be aggravated. But the cost of this thing, you don't want to do that. I think I paid about two hundred dollars this thing. They did run about two hundred dollars on eBay. You can get them for one hundred ninety-five on eBay. Sometimes you get a lot less than that. I really don't know. But I got this for two hundred bucks at the time. They were almost three hundred dollars. They first came out. I also got the Hong Kong models 132nd scale B-17 Flying Fortress, the B-17F, the, the Memphis Bell. Uh, that would be a Freddy Duarte and Frankie Day Cobell. So I'll probably have that finished for you. I'm hanging out up my back room. Back there. I can play room in my back room to hang these things. I don't want to hang any more up here because i got too many in here. And I don't want to get a lot too much in here because I'm going to be probably moving pretty soon. Uh, my house starting to come through right now for me. And... Uh, Eventually, uh, won't take me long to move out of this trailer. I'm, I'm gonna tow. I'm gonna take this trailer with me. This is a flat tire. This this trailer right here to me is a spare tire. Case up with this guy's house. This I got my trailer. Say so you don't want to sell it. Leave yourself in a place you don't know where you're gonna go. And pretty soon you have to change your heart. Pretty soon you're out in the goddamn cold again. I don't want to go that way again. I'm too damn old. I'm almost 80 years old, and I'm getting I'm getting old. And I can't go through these mu musical moves all the time. So this guy's pretty sound. He likes me. He sees my channel all the time. And uh, he likes that fire engine I made, that Firehouse Friday, that uh, America the Fence uh, ladder chief I got, my AMT. I finally got that finished. I haven't, made, I haven't posted the final bill on that. He liked that. So I, as a complimentary gift for, for, uh, for good, for, uh, for homage and everything, for him to get me a, let me stay and get me a farmhouse, I'll, I'll give him that as a gift. For they, they can always get another one. No big deal. I had so much fun building a ladder sheet. That's probably the first time I built something like that before. Like I say, once you're building airplanes and ships all your life, you know, you should get in the cars, it's a whole different world. But it's not even different than building an airplane and model ship or anything else you build. Armor. Okay, back to the B-25, of course. Okay, as you can see right here, it's all faded olive drab because they were out there in the hot sun all day long. You can factory fish olive drab in the subtropical sun. It's out there, it's, it, it just really fades up the paint. And uh, I don't want to put a wash on this thing because I think the fading of the olive drabs of this thing really gives it the density. If I put a wash on it, it would make it darker. I don't want to get darker. I think it's nice right now. Now, incidentally, I took pictures outside, so it really brings the brilliance of the true color a lot more better inside this trailer here. So I got some pictures I posted on here, too, so I'll be coming up. Okay. I'm going to hang this up when this video is uploading. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my, my A4 Skyhawk. All i got to do is take those bombs, attach them, and uh, paint the slats. And the dive, the dive brakes are already up. Uh, Paint it. I'll use install them. And uh, paint the tire. 
nose wheel. A cheesy nose wheel assembly they give you. And uh, she's ready for final build. She has final build that for the morning for certain. When I get back on the albatross, get the icer boots on there. There's the decals on it. And uh, final build that. I should have that thing done this week, too. So I need three of these to done this week. All that's left of the AD Sky Raider and my F4U Corsair, which I got on my group build. You can, anybody participate in my group build, take your time. You got plenty of time, guys. It takes a year, two years, wherever it is. I'm not going to press you guys in until we get it done quick, you know. Take your time. But you're like me. You guys see models that you want to build, you go ahead and build it, put it aside, and pretty soon you're, you got all the projects on hand. So it's part of the model center. Those are the modeling. The last thing I got the, the cattle machine guys are saying. One thing is probably about the best B twenty five I've ever built. Hong Kong models, uh they did a pretty good job with this. They made quite certain they have no stones unturned when they designed this kit. Because I always, I remember years ago, about 30, well, about 40 years ago, at the Air Force Base Museum, all these Orientals taking pictures like this. And I was like, my God, these guys act like they've never seen a bother before. But it didn't dawn on me at the time, these guys were model builders or designers that worked for Hasegawa, Hong Kong models. Uh, Kimiya, Hasegawa, and a lot of others out there. So that's probably pretty much why they were pretty camera friendly at the time. Well, I mean, they're shooting shots, bomb bays, landing gear wells, tires, brake lines, brakes, hydraulic lines, retracting jacks for the landing gear doors, everything, insignia markings, color samples of the paint they used, everything. So it comes out to something like this, that all that pictures they took. This is a beautiful B-25, guys. There's no inaccuracies in this thing at all. There isn't. It's pricey as hell, but it's like anything else nowadays you get. So the price don't scare me. It did at first, but that, that's the going rate nowadays of, of buying models. I can remember, gosh, yes, gosh, about 50 years ago, $20 bought a top shelf model. I mean, the best, out, best there was out there. Then fifty dollars was top shelf. Now top shelf nowadays, five, four, three, six hundred dollar models. Too much money. And you gotta have a good place to store them too. Especially building these big jobs. Okay, without further ado, we're gonna come over and take a look at the slides. And we're gonna come right back, please finish up the video. Uh, to discuss uh, what's, what's going to be on the project when, uh, when winter comes in. <clears throat> and uh, that'll be that. And uh, the other final bills will follow after that. <clears throat> okay. Without further ado, let's roll the stills.
There you go, fellas. Hope you enjoyed those. No difference just take them outside and carry this trailer. Okay, as you can see, it's a big airplane. Okay, after I get these, uh, the Corsair done, the AD done, the Albatross, and the uh, Skyhawk, I'll probably go back on ships again. Because uh, that airbrush of mine just keeps spitting water all the time and stuff, so going back on ship models again, I don't use the airbrush that much, only if I'm painting a hull or something like that. And uh, so, anyway, incidentally, guys, I ordered something uh, I got from eBay. Mostly stuff I buy from eBay just as model ship fittings. I got boxes and use a lot of fittings. And uh, I ran across. A 1200 scale USS Hornet by Trumpeter. The kit retails over $400. I got it for $299. Uh, with tax and everything, come down to, to uh, and shipping, came down to $364. So I saved some money. So I got that coming in the mail. Probably be work on that. Where I'm going to put it here, I don't know. It ain't going to come in here. Because that house I'm getting, and that's where it's going to go. Something that's 53 inches long ain't gonna fit in here. I'm doing good with a B25 with a wingspan of 30 inches. Uh, well, I've got it here right now, but I got it anyway. Make sure I've got it, so I'm pretty happy. And I'll probably be work on that when I get my new house, so there'll be an inbox box view of that. Also, uh, I'm gonna be finishing working on the uh, on my uh, state frigate uh, USS Susquehanna. XMI kit, reboxed by Monogram. Bobby working on that, and uh, more those I got. I got a lot of stuff coming, guys. A lot of stuff. So be patient. I, I'll knock them out for you. I'm glad I got the B25 done. It was a request from my subscribers. They say, Frankie, when you get that B25 done, like I said, it's done. It's done. And. Uh, but if you guys, it would not be done. It would be a great plastic storage facility somewhere. But right now, it's a... Uh, anyway, uh, hell, let's say it. I think I lost my child uh, thought of mine. So I might be working on some ships and stuff. I got stuff coming your way, guys. I throw in a couple airplanes, I don't know. Just right now, I can't use that airbrush that much. Can you spit that damn water out, dog. I do water trap for it and everything. I don't know what to do. <sighs> so I'm fighting that too. And I, I pulled off pretty good with a B25 with the airbrush out of here. In between spit jobs, I have a spray because I'm pretty tied up pretty much when it starts spitting water on it. That's why I kind of let it out, open up the trap, and start spraying so I know it's time to do it again. So it's all about time, I guess. Okay. That's it for the final reveal for the B25 by Hong Kong Models, the B25J. Mitch and Bomber, if you got one, don't be bashful. Build it. You'll be amazed with the fidelity of detail. It's a beautiful airplane. It's a beautiful airplane. And a beautiful kit. And you think about getting one, buy one. You know, like I say, you can get an eBay for about $200. The shipping what gets you. It's a shipping. In other words, it was $25 tax on that $299 Hornet I got. And uh, it was $50 shipping on it. No, $39 shipping. It wasn't that high price. I would have got that thing probably less than $300. So I got that coming in the mail. When it gets here, I'll show it to you, fellas. Okay, for well, the second time around, this is it, Frankie Day. Make Mama happy. Take care of little ones. Stay focused when you start. Be aware of your surroundings. Spend wisely. Go out and buy yourself a nice cat to get cold outside or drag a cat out of the stash or bash up what you got. It's getting winter time and it's time to fire up the airbrush and start start working and uh, work on your models and uh, enjoy life. Okay, how about it here? Thank you very much for new subscribers. God bless you all. And oh yes, a special shout out to Mr. Bruce Kerr. The Mystic Modeler from the Garage, my good friend. And uh, 
He's a great man. He lives in Florida now, and they got that big hurricane iron coming through there, and I hope he's safe. So be safe, uh, uh, Bruce. I don't want to see your house get destroyed, and uh, and I don't want you to vacate your home because you got your whole life in there, buddy. And all your models, and like everybody else says, once you lose your home, everything you got, you got no insurance. You're done. You're dead. You're gone. And uh, that'll be it. So, so it's never say a prayer that our Bruce uh, Care, Care, uh, from the garage, Mystic Modeler, let's hope the his house will be safe uh, from this horrible hurricane. That's one thing bad about Florida. It's so beautiful out there, guys. But like I say. It's like anything in life, you got to pay for something. It's Hurricane Alley out there. That's why I don't like living in coastal states like that. They're bad. Alabama, same way. Galveston, Texas, all through those seaports. Not too much out in California. It's mostly around the Gulf areas. Because you got volatile masses out there. You got the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf going together. And all these weathers are mixing. You got volatile air masses and it causes hurricanes. And Nor'easters and everything else that goes with it. So, everybody say a prayer and, and uh, that Bruce, uh, this house doesn't get destroyed by this that monstrous uh, hurricane. And everybody say your prayers for our country and, and for yourselves and family. And uh, God will prevail and take care of things. This is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Model signing off. God bless you all. We'll see you on the final reveal tomorrow for the A4 Skyhawk by Trumpeter, 132nd scale. Stay tuned for the scooter. I'll be posting some pictures on Facebook too. So bye, fellas. Take care, and God bless you all. I love you, fellas.